Hello friends, in the previous uh, part 1 and part 2 we have covered the first 6 units. The first 3 units was covered by me and the later 3 units was covered by Vinay. So in the part 3 of this video lecture series I am going to tell you the most, most remote must read topics from the chapters uh, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So the first one is System Physiology Animal And in this unit we have uh, selected very few topics And these are Number 1 The ECG Graph You must know how to interpret the graph. Then we have selected action potential. The action potential or nerve potential from the nervous system. Then we need to know about the water balance. The electrolyte balance. Acid-base balance, uh, this acid, acid-base balance in kidney actually, and lastly we need to know about the hormones. So in the animal system physiology we need to focus on these six points only that is the ECG graph, the action potential or the nerve potential, the water balance, electrolyte balance, acid base balance in kidney and hormones and its related diseases. Now moving on to the next part. Inheritance Biology So in Inheritance Biology we need to know about the gene mapping methods So in this there is linkage mapping There is tetrad analysis Okay And also a complementation test So in the gene mapping methods we have linkage mapping, tetrad analysis and complementation test. Then in the next one we have fine structure analysis of genes. Okay. The C part goes to the various mechanisms that happens in bacteria, the conjugation, transduction, transformation, okay. One of the most important is the pedigree analysis. Then there is a concept of large score for linkage testing.
5. Then we also have QTA mapping. And lastly, we must know about the transposons. So in this unit also we have selected six topics, the gene mapping methods, which where we need to know about the linkage mapping, tetrad analysis, complementation test, then we have fine structure analysis of genes, then we have conjugation, transduction and transformation, we have pedigree analysis and large scores for linkage testing, we have PPL mapping and finally we have transposons. Okay. So this completes our second part. The third part is the diversity in life forms. So here also we are very specific and we have just selected one, two, three topics. First one is organisms of health and agricultural importance. And finally, we need to know about the ICN categories. So in this, there is the endangered species, the treated species, the vulnerable species. So what are the examples that are in those categories are also important. So this completes the third topic. And finally, we will be going to our last topic of this part of the video. That is ecological principles. So, in ecological principles, you need to know about the where these national parks, biosphere reserves and wildlife sanctuaries are located. We don't know really about the different laws, we don't really know about the ecological succession, the edge effect, the population growth curve and its related equations, the R and case selection and so these are the topics. Okay? 
the six topics in this ecological principles. So that covers up our this third part of the video. There will be a final part that will be given by Vinay. Hope you like this part. Thank you and keep watching.